everyone, and welcome to another edition of Tuesdays with Montague. I'm Bill Montague. Well, I want to talk a bit about the CHLPA and really their miserable and failed attempt to kind of get some respect from people, you know, in the hockey circles. And I'll tell you what, what happened a week ago for those of you that kind of paid attention to this was a complete farce. And to be quite honest, I'm being honest here, kind of brought back memories of one of my my favorite movies as a kid, you know what? It had a lot of the same attributes as some of the star characters in that questionable brains, little, very little heart, and maybe they lacked a bit of courage. And you know what? Even when it came time for old Oz himself, for the great and powerful Oz to step up from behind the curtain, he failed to do so. And what happened last week? Listen, that union trying to gain some popularity and respect the CHL, David Branch, give him a lot of credit. They hired a private investigator, and they kind of said, you know what, we don't know who you are. Who are you? Who is Derek Clark? Who's, remember Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid? Who are those guys? Well, this group, I'll tell you what, they just didn't want to really tell us who Derek Clark was. And as it turned out, it seems like one, two, maybe three people all masquerading as Derek Clark. And, answering questions from the media and when things really heated up you know what these guys decide well we're gonna hold a press conference we're gonna hold a press conference we're gonna tell everybody we're gonna prove to you who Derek Clark is yeah he's gonna be there he's gonna be there they have this press conference but oh big powerful Derek Clark you know the guy who yapped all the time to the media he always had something to say Oh, mm. no, he glued his mouth shut. Too chicken, too chicken to stand up in front of the cameras and to tell everyone, yeah, I'm Derek Clark. I'm not Randy Gumbly. I'm not Glenn Gumbly. Yeah, I'm the guy. I'm the guy who, 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 who's been making all these phone calls and responding to media requests. Yeah, he's too chicken, I'll tell you what, because he's afraid his voice would have been heard. And the people who, I, who had these taped interviews would say, Ah, 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 that ain't no uh, Derek Clark. Ain't the one I talked to. As it turned out through further investigation, you know what, they kind of find out that Glenn Gumbly. Yeah, people thought Randy Gumbly, you know, the guy 2009 defrauded minor hockey, some kids and parents of what I think somewhere in the range of $100,000, figured he was involved. You know what, they still figure that, but one thing's for certain, his brother Glenn Gumbly, he was involved. He was a clown who, who basically was masquerading as this uh, Derek Clark guy, and I'll tell you. For anybody who was involved with that situation, from the lawyers who did the pro bono for that, if I'm a lawyer that did pro bono for that, I'm going after these guys. I want my money back because I'll tell you, I did that under false pretenses. I don't think, you know, if those lawyers weren't aware of what was going on and they were duped, I mean, come on, if they were duped, I think they have legal grounds there to go back and maybe uh, you know, uh, recoup some of that money, you know, that pro bono stuff out the window. And George LaRock, listen buddy, might have been in it for the right reason, Georgie Porgy, but I'll tell you what, you got to stop protecting these, these guys. You got to stop sticking up for them. You got to stop trying to make the media the culprits here because you're... That, that group's uh, decision not to be honest, not to come, you know, be forthright and tell people just who the heck's behind this operation, that led to your undoing. Stop blaming other people, George, okay? You're a good guy. I think that maybe you were in it for the right reason, but maybe you, like some others, got duped, had the old, old wool pulled over your eyes, okay? Became a complete farce. Anyone who paid attention, I'll be honest, I was laughing hysterically at these guys as more and more information came up. What a joke. If anything, if anything, I hope that this whole thing, I hope it opens up the CHL's eyes. Yeah, open the eyes up a little bit because you guys need to dig into the pockets, okay? David Branch and all you owners in the OHL and the Western Hockey League, Quebec League, you need to dig into your pockets, give these kids better education packages and, and that, that weekly stipend, you gotta increase that. $35, $50 a week today, ah, that's peanuts. 
You fellas, some of you are making a lot, a lot of money. And I understand not every team's making the big bucks, but there are some teams that are making huge dollars, and maybe, just maybe it's time that the OHL and the CHL, that you guys kind of think of revenue sharing? Hey, revenue sharing. Yeah, oh, I know the Hunter boys in London. They don't want to hear that, not with the money they're making. I'm not talking, you know, kind of a, a big, big revenue sharing package, but maybe those teams that are making the, the, the millions of dollars, and I think that there are teams out there making it, you guys need to maybe dish a little out to uh, some of the smaller markets, you balance that out, and let's give these kids a better package, because they deserve it, and this crap that they got to use those education packages within 18 months or they lose it, that is absolutely ridiculous. You you got to make that better. These kids should still be able to pursue their dream of playing hockey. And then if it doesn't come uh, uh, pan out in, in two years or three years, they ought to be allowed to use that money, the education packages, and go back and get a good education. Go to school. Okay? You need to fix that, guys. Now, this is a long segment. Before I sign off, Nikki Cousins, the, the uh, Subway Super Series, what a joke. What a joke. We're talking one of the top guys in the entire OHL. And they added two more players, Zach Hall and Connor McDavid, last week. And the OHL, to have the nerve to leave Nicky Cousins out, you ought to be ashamed of yourself unless you let, you let him out or, or you left him off, off due to the charges he's facing. If that's the case, Come clean, tell the public that, and people will understand. But to act like that had nothing to do with it. And oh, there's just so many good players. That's a bunch of crap. You know it, and I know it. Well, that's it for this edition. Tuesdays with Montague. I'm Bill Montague. I'll see you again next week.